Wong and host to the 49th Interoceanic Song Fest. At the last minute, Mayor John Dorryfish realized there was no actual award for the grand prize winner and sent Sharky and George to the Galleon Museum to find a suitable object. Pronto. No, Sharky, not that. Why, it's kind of cute. It's a valuable antique. We can't give away Chicago's heritage. <gasps> Suffering sticklebacks, it's a treasure chest! <laughs> a treasure chest, wahoo! I love treasure! Sharky, listen to this! Open me not, no matter what! They all say that! Huh? No, Sharky! <laughs> Leave it alone! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Break open! Yeah! <laughs> The case of the creeping crystal. The treasure in the treasure chest was perfect for a prize, and there were two identical objects, so I kept one for myself. I Thank you. You were swell. Now, please welcome the last contestant. Mutt Moore. Well, four and twenty. Mr. Mayor, we found one. The award. It's solid crystal. Ah. Pretty, huh? Ah. Ah. Magnificent. Marvelous. Splendid. You've saved the day. <laughs> Yes, indeed. I knew I could count on you. What did you pick it up for? Oh, George, I'm such a klutz. Now clean it up and apologize. Honestly. Lucky there's another one. Don't worry. I'll go get the second crystal. Oh, my goodness. It's time to present the prizes. I'll have to stall till he gets back. Hello, denizens! Hello, denizens! Do you love music? In that case, you'll be delighted that our three judges, me, myself, and I, have awarded first prize to the Rocky Tuna Club. I'll handle it if you don't mind. On my way to bed, I left the shattered pieces of crystal on the desk. The rocking tuna rolls had to rush off to their next gig. You're cleared for takeoff, Rock Force One. Permission, locomotion, ignition, satisfaction. <laughs> So this. Let's get out of here. Breaking that crystal must have caused a growth spurt. That makes sense. But what about the other one? If it shatters, the tuna rolls are in trouble. We've got to catch them. Take the and I'll be a skipper before he for me on my life. Aviation. Aviation. Calling Rock Force One. This is the control tower. Come in, please. Interruption. Rock Force One, change course. You're flying straight into a fourth ten gale. Eddie's to the left of you. Whirlpool's to the right of you. If you don't back out of there, you can kiss your guitars goodbye. Pull up! Extrude the retroactive bank! Excuse me, can you contact the rock and tuna rolls? 
As a matter of fact, it's them I'm talking to. On the show, Jenny Fletcher. <laughs> Rockin' tuna rolls. Listen up. This is Sharky. <laughs> you are in grave danger. The crystal. <laughs> What's happening to that corncock? It's heading for a crash landing on the piranhas on Pain Forest. <laughs> Flamenco, fandango, lambada, lumbago, mariachi, la cucaracha. You, George. Where else would we go? The Piranazon's a tricky place to land, so I put her on automatic pilot and we bailed out. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in Chicago... <laughs> unbeknownst to us, the crystal had crept out of our office and was springing up all over the city. From Oyster Park to the Sturgeon of Liberty, Chicago was crusted with crystal. Satisfaction! Hey, 
George, didn't you shut the office door? Okay, guys. It's up to you. We circled the city with the rocking tuna rolls playing their gills out, and the creeping crystal crumpled up. Chicago was safe once more, thanks to Sharky and George, the dynamic duo of the deep.